Hey folks, season 2 is around the corner and there is insanely lot content to cover. In this video I'm going to introduce you Northridge Isolation and I'm gonna be frankly honest. When I opened Arena Breakout Beta I had no clue that this mode is actually in the game because the focus was on port and you know the night mode or fog mode on farm, new weapons and such and I didn't know that this event actually exists. It's going to be an event so it's just a temporary thing and it's similar to covert ops in my opinion on, but still a bit more interesting because you are actually playing your own character but you are not allowed to bring your own equipment so you cannot bring any weapons and medkits and such and after playing it I felt like it's it's like a survival mode because you enter the Northridge map with very basic equipment maybe just a pistol only and then what you want to do is to run to one of the locations and start picking up weapons and equipment and this map is full of uh, weapon cases, premium weapon cases, uh, medium weapon cases, all kind of weapon cases. And basically you need to start gearing up. This whole thing is being supported by continuous airdrops. So after a while, I don't know, maybe five minutes or such, you're going to start seeing airdrops. You can actually mark them on the map and then you can you, you can attempt to open or loot those airdrops. In those airdrops, you're going to find the the, the, the things we usually find in the airdrop like you know one for weapons one for more armor and in the third case or third container there's usually med kit and and some miscellaneous stuff on the different locations you're going to need to fight some bots and you also need to be prepared for other players like searching the, the same area so it's i think a very interesting and fun way of like covert ops version 2 but it doesn't stop here because you cannot just simply extract from the map the way extraction works is that now and then you're gonna see helicopters appearing on different locations of the map actually you're gonna see a timer that at this time a helicopter will be arriving to that point and you need to start running to that location in advance because that helicopter is not there forever you have a time frame and you need to enter like the helicopter within that time frame makes sense right and after you enable that extract you're gonna need to wait for 60 seconds and then the helicopter can take you off and also important to mention that not all of the helicopters have like endless capacity so if if you have teammates it may happen that only you can extract or your teammate can extract because some helicopters I saw have two spots and then there was another one which has only one spot so it's definitely an interesting game mode I really like it I think it shouldn't be temporary I think this shouldn't be an event it should be like a permanent thing because uh, I, I like this better than the cover dots. I think it's more fun, more excitement. And at the end of the day, the purpose of the map is pretty much the same as cover dots. You start with zero and then you extract with something. You are not going to find like the highest uh, um, loot ever. But still, you can you can pick up some decent weapons and a bit bit of armor and stuff like that. So guys, I'm gonna shut up. I let you watch the video. Give me comments what you think about this game mode. Did you already know about it? If not, um, you know what's your first impression? You know, just just keep it coming. Engagement is always welcome. Also, subscribing and liking the video, of course, because it helps me spread. But at the end of the day, enjoy the video and have fun. Cheerio out. Bye.